So I want to talk about satin stitch and ink stitch. There's two ways to create a satin stitch and ink stitch. I know there's a couple of you are going to argue that there's three, but the automatic method only gets you to one of the two that I'm going to talk about. The first one is node satin stitch. Going to create a line. And I have a node on each end of this line. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate that line. I'm going to move it offset. I'm going to hit Control A to select all. Control K to combine. That Control K is this right here. Combine Control K. So now that they are combined, I can make that a satin stitch. With params, go to satin column, custom satin stitch. There's my custom satin stitch. To do the node method, you must have the same number of nodes in your combined lines. If I create an extra node in this one, it will no longer work. That's because it's not a, it will no longer work. If I go to params and then I set it to be a satin stitch, notice it stops, close out, and it will tell you there's no rungs and the rails have an unequal number of points. So remove that one or add one to this one. Now it'll stitch. I'm going to add another one. Come down to this one. I'm going to add another one. So now they have the same number. I'll pull this apart. I want this one down, this one up, this one down, this one up, and we'll leave the rest of it about the same. That should give me a satin stitch. Nice. So the other thing I want to show you about the nodes. I'm going to drag these back down. The nodes will also decide. I'm going to unclip it. So if I pull this node over here, and this one over here, and then that one over here, and this one over here. Now that'll show you which way it's going to. It's going to start out straight, and then it's going to take a turn so that it's threading this way. So if I go into Ink Stitch Params, Set Satin Column, And you'll see how the, the different placement of the nodes is going to make a different type of stitch, different direction for the stitch. It's good to know if you're making turns, something like that. So that takes us to the other type, which is the rung method. I always forget to do this. Okay, the rung method. So I'm going to create two lines. Control D, which duplicates. Pull that apart. Now I'm going to make two rungs. Now this is the rung method. You still have to do everything that we did before. Control A. Control A to select all. Control K to combine. Now that we've combined it, we can do a satin stitch. Now the neat thing about the rung method is I do not have to have 
the same number of nodes in any given piece. So now that I don't have the same number of nodes, I can move these around. But keep in mind, your rung has to cross. If it doesn't cross, you'll get an error. So this will stitch. Different number of nodes, but we're using the rung method. Nice. Now, to turn, to make turns to your stitch, now that we're using the rung method, you can kind of do the same thing. We're going to run a piece down to here. We're going to run a piece straight. And then we're going to run a piece crooked this way. Now I need to s control all to select everything. Notice that these two are not being selected because they're already part of the entire piece. My new pieces are being selected. Control K to combine. Now this is all one piece. Now we're going to satin stitch it and you'll see how the different directions for the rung make different directions for the satin stitch. Same thing with the nodes making a certain direction. Your rungs making a certain direction will work that same way. So you can kind of do the same exact thing in the node method or the rung method. I want you to get more familiar with the rung method. If you're going to pick one, pick the rung method. Why, you ask? Because when you do a simple convert, it will convert to the rung method. Ink stitch, satin tools, convert line to satin. This works using the rung method. There's your rungs. There's your rung. It works this using the rung method. I'm going to scroll back out. We're going to delete this. I'm going to show you a circle that is converted. And you'll see that it's definitely the rung method. I'm going to make this one a little thicker so that it shows up better. Let's go with three. There's a nice piece. So when we convert this, uh, satin tools, convert line to satin. All those cross pieces are rungs for the rung method. And it's broke away right there. So get familiar with using the rung method because it does use the rung method for its convert. So once you have, let's get rid of this, straight line, oh, why'd you do that? Straight line, thank you, thickness, three, extensions, ink stitch, satin tools, convert, hit your nodes tool, you can adjust this to do different things. Once it has been converted, you can play around with the symmetry if you want to do extra things. You can even add rungs to it. Just don't forget to select the piece, all of it, including your new rungs, and then hit Control K to combine. This is, and then go to params, satin column, custom satin column. Sweet, sweet. I hope that helps you out working with satin stitches. Thanks for watching.